Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today we're going to make rolled up lasagna. So this is a recipe that I usually do with my cooking class after I've had a few lessons on the macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, and fats. And so I use this as an example of how we have those three main macronutrients in most of the foods that we eat along the way. This is also an uh, easy prepared dinner, pantry friendly, and can all be done within an hour or so because my class time is only an hour and 15 minutes long. So today we're going to start with uh, getting the noodles ready. So you're going to want to have a large pot of water, uh, fill about two thirds of the way full, and bring it to a boil. So I had already started this a few minutes ago. Um, when it's at a full boil, and you know it's a full boil because the bubbles are bouncing quite vigorously and they're not going away at all. Uh, we're going to add 12 lasagna noodles. Now when you put the noodles in, we don't turn down the heat, we keep it at a full boil, and we need to stir them until the noodles will fall into the pot naturally on their own. So as they start to soften at the bottom, they will then start to fall into the pot. And we're going to keep stirring until they are totally in there on their own and the water is fully bouncing around and they're not going to stick to the bottom then. Uh, when we're cooking pasta, we never put the lid back on. And you should usually always time your pasta for doneness. Uh, throwing it against the wall is not a good idea uh, for testing for doneness. When you want to see if it's done at the end, you should be uh, using, uh, tasting a piece of it to see whether or not it is al dente. Now we don't want our, our pasta overcooked uh, because it will be going in the oven once we have made our rolls. So uh, we want to make sure that we are just cooking it until it's all done today. Alright, so now my pasta's all submerged almost, except for there's one that's getting a little stubborn there. There we go. Uh, so now I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. And then uh, when it's ready, we're going to drain it in a colander and let it cool a bit so that we can roll up our lasagna rolls. Uh, at this point, I also want to preheat my oven to get it ready for uh, baking the lasagna later. And we need to set the oven at 375. So by the time we get everything assembled, my oven will be totally at the temperature. So while the to pasta is cooking, one of the first things um, we also need to get going uh, is we need to strain the cottage cheese. Uh, cottage cheese is a great source of protein, um, lower in fat, but it also has a lot of liquid in it, which will make our cheese filling very, very runny. So we're just going to take, it's a full container of cottage cheese, and we're going to pour it into a strainer and just let it sit to drip over top of the sink. So while we're waiting for the pasta to cook, we're also going to prep uh, ingredients for our tomato meat sauce. Uh, so we're using a half pound of ground beef. And to that, we're going to be adding two cloves of garlic. So two, two cloves are the two smaller pieces of the garlic. You're gonna take uh, your garlic and you're gonna put it underneath your cutting board and you're gonna press down and that will get the skins to pop off the garlic. One of the little double clove there anyways. All right, and then we're going to cut off the dried up edge piece. Then to mince, 
we're going to cut the garlic into little pieces. Putting the heel of your hand on the tip of the knife, you're just going to keep going back and forth over top of the garlic until it's all nice and small, even pieces. Garlic is a wonderful vegetable to add to your foods. Uh, it is great for helping with your immunity and fighting off um, not just vampires, but viruses and infections as well. Uh, generally, garlic is quite often used in a lot of home remedies, like even chicken noodle soup has quite a bit of garlic in it, which adds to its ability to help you feel better. All right, so this uh, garlic, Let's add it into our saucepan. Uh, next, we're going to be adding some onion. Now, when uh, cutting up your onions, you need to make sure that you're always cutting them from the stem towards the root. So I always cut my stem piece off first. And then I take my knife, so I place it flat on my cutting board, and I take my knife and I cut the onion in half, right through the middle of that root piece. Now, it's much easier for me to peel, because I can now take off that outer layer. Then to dice the onion, I'm going to cut long slits into the onion, not going through the root, all the way along. So it's kind of like a blooming onion type. Now to finish the dice, I now just need to cut it along the edge such as this and now my onion will fall apart into little diced pieces. So the recipe calls for a quarter cup of onion. Um, that's always so approximate when you're cooking so I'm not gonna like, measure exactly a quarter cup. I like onion so I'm just gonna put in half this onion. So you can just use your best judgment as to how much should actually be in there. Now the recipe doesn't call for peppers, but my family loves peppers, so I'm going to also add some pepper to my sauce. Now my pasta is done. So I'm going to take my pot of pasta and I'm going to place my colander in the sink here and I'm going to strain the noodles right in the colander. So they can sit there and cool while I finish prepping up the sauce. All right, so to prepare the pepper, I'm going to first of all cut the pepper in half. I don't need the full pepper, I'm only gonna use half the pepper. And then using the tip of my knife, I'm going to cut the core out. And I'm gonna do this over top of my garbage bowl because I don't want the seeds all over my cutting board and ending up getting into what I'm going to be trying to put into the saucepan. Always try and make your work easier on yourself. Um, if you create this mess that you're dealing with and you end up sitting there for 10 minutes trying to pick all the little pieces out, and I've seen that enough times in my classroom, um, so just make work easier. Work smarter, not harder. It makes your life a lot more enjoyable. All right, so next we're going to slice the pepper into long thin strips. Peppers are an excellent source of vitamin A and vitamin C. Uh, there's actually more vitamin C in peppers than there are in oranges. So if you're looking for vitamin C, which is also great for boosting your immunity, 
Uh, you should make sure you're having lots of that in your diet right now as well. All right, so then we're going to continue to dice up those strips. And I'm going to add those in to my meat sauce here. Now this is going to be placed on my burner. And I'm going to set it to a medium heat. And I'll be stirring it as it All right, my meat is almost completely cooked. Uh, so I'm going to be putting some seasoning into the meat. I need a half teaspoon of salt. I need a teaspoon of oregano. And it says a dash of cayenne. So a dash is like a pinch. So I'm just gonna put some on my hand and the amount I can pick up between my thumb and finger will be added. Now my meat um, still has some fat in it. And I don't want that in my food. So I'm going to drain it. And what I do is I just have a disposable container that I keep in the freezer that I just keep topping up with any fats from when I'm cooking because I don't want to put this down my drain. And then when it gets full, um, I just toss it. So I have this great big tub of fat. You should see the one in my classroom <laughs> with uh, six kitchens cooking all the time. It gets very full. Here at home, it's just a little bit smaller. Okay, so to my ground meat and sauteed vegetables, I'm going to add the seasonings I just measured and a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I'm going to put the lid on and return it to the stove top. So while the sauce is simmering, the we're going to make the cheese filling for our rolled up lasagna. So we're going to put together in a bowl our cottage cheese, which has been draining. Uh, we're going to add a half cup of grated Parmesan. So when you're grating Parmesan, you want to use the fine grate on your grater, not the coarse grate, because it's a very hard cheese. Uh, it takes longer to melt. So you want to use a fine grate to try and make it melt quicker. Parmesan, when you're measuring it, is just loosely placed into your measuring cup. You're not cramming it in there. Almost enough. Just do a little bit more. Parmesan. I'm just going to put this to the side. And then we're going to add two eggs, lightly beaten. There's one.
second egg. Then we are going to be adding some parsley, two teaspoons of dried parsley. I'm going to add, which I don't have on the original recipe, but I'd like to add this for its nutritional value, is some spinach. Uh, spinach is a great source of iron and folic acid, in particular from the B vitamins, so it really helps to uh, improve the nutritional value, and it's a great way to get greens into your meal. Take a little bit of work to uh, stir them in. So that was probably about two cups worth of spinach. Add it in there if you want to add that in for a little more nutritional value. By all means, you can. Recipes are always something to play with or something to be creative with and improve upon. Uh, so by all means, try new things. Give me some, some feedback on different things you've tried or adaptations. I love to see when people are creative with different so now that our noodles are all cooked, uh, our next step is to take our filling that we just made and divide it evenly amongst the 10 noodles. And then we're going to roll them up. So I'm just going to start by putting a spoonful, basically on each noodle here, so I can start to divide it up. I'm just going to uh, spread them out evenly on the noodles so you kind of want a little bit running down each noodle it doesn't have to look pretty because we're rolling this all up step which is putting together our lasagna roll up. So first thing we need to do is pour about half the sauce 
loose them up to cover the bottom of the pan. Then we're going to lay our lasagna rolls in there, make sure the seam side is down. So you're using a square baking pan. Uh, it can be metal, it doesn't have to be glass. So you should be able to get three rolls across in it by four rolls. I'm going to pour the rest of the sauce on top, spreading to cover evenly. sauce to kind of fall in between them. And then topping with some mozzarella cheese. And we put this into the oven and bake for 20 minutes. Hope you enjoy your lasagna roll-ups. Uh, let me know what you think about them and stay tuned for future recipes. Goodbye.